Tigers. This is um, Miss Waddle, and I just want to announce that we're having a blackout poetry contest for the month of April because April is National Poetry Month. Last year we had a blackout poetry contest, and it was probably the thing that we got the most response to. We had a couple hundred entries. It was really awesome. The things that are in front of me are some of the entries from last year. To use blackout poetry, if you don't happen to know what it is, you just take a page from a really old discarded book and you just read words and you decide which words remain as a poem and you black out everything else. Now, as you can see from the samples, when you black out other things, you can create an interesting picture in the background. You can do whatever you want. The picture might go with the poem. And some of those that are like that turn out really, really nice. We don't have too many other requirements for this. You can see in the samples that sometimes somebody will put a blackout poem and then they'll also put the poem out on the side. And this is kind of helpful for the judging, but it's not required. What we want you to do is to create the blackout poem, just read the text, decide what still belongs, kind of box out the words that belong so we can read them in the order and see what kind of poem they create, and then also create your picture. On the back of it then, go ahead and put your name and your long ID number. What we'll do, and these are due on April 25th is the last day, and on April 27th in this room, which is the south reading room of the library, we're going to lay out the um, entries all along the table and just number them from one to whatever they go through. And we're going to have two, um, two judging. And one is going to be students, so any students who want to come in that day at lunchtime or after school and vote for their top five, they can do that. And then teachers as well will be a separate judging. And the teachers, or I should say the employees of the school will be a separate judging. Anyone who works for the school can come in and also judge. And they will do the same thing, pick their top five. And from those, we'll get our top winners. And the winners will receive prizes. And I have to like look up what those are. But I know that the top winners are going to receive gift certificates worth about $25. And then other winners will be getting um, free books and things like that. So please do enter. It's really fun to make a blackout poem. Um, you can express your creativity both in language and your visual creativity. It's a great opportunity. And again, uh, April 25th is the deadline. And we just want your name and your long ID number on the back, okay? Thanks a lot. For class officers are this week. There'll be a mandatory meeting April 21st. During both lunches, make sure to have all your paperwork signed and turned in. which stands for Effective Communicators, it should serve collaboratively working for self-importance.